just about finished with this order. This has been a good one. I put uh, 121 by sixes, eight pieces of six by six. I'm gonna need 16 two by fours, and I'm gonna need 55 two by sixes. This is all hemlock, all shake-free hemlock, except for some of the one by sixes I had to pick through. There's always wind shake in hemlock. There's nothing I can do about it. He wanted 100, I give him 120 pieces to make sure that he got enough to do his job and I'll give him some more if he thinks that there's something that's, the quality just isn't there, but I think it's okay. So I got a few more logs to mill. This is a nice looking log. This is about a 12 inch at the small end. I'm gonna see how many pieces of two by six I can get out of that, probably three or four. And maybe a couple of pieces of, of one by four or one by six. So. This is uh, a windy day, no flies, beautiful day for milling lumber. So I'm in my uh, sawmill shed, the shed at the end of my, where my sawmill runs. This is a 10 by 10 foot room. I keep some blades in here. You can see all these blades behind me. Those are all in need of sharpening. I'm in need of a rainy day to try to get that uh, sharpening done. But you wouldn't believe how handy this little battery has been. I'm not trying to brag on it, for any reason other than I'm bragging on it. It's um, a Blue Eddy EB3A. They contacted me, complete transparency, they contacted me, asked me if I would review one, they would give it to me. I just had to make a video, an honest review video, which is uh, the only way that I would do it, is an honest review video. So if I didn't like it, I'd have told you I didn't like it. But I used to charge my phone up, my headphones, my Bluetooth headphones. There's a light, I'll turn over here my LED light that I use for seeing in here, and you guys can see my beautiful face. And I use it to keep uh, phones, my cordless tool batteries, that kind of thing. Anyway, they had contacted me after the last video and asked me if I'd be interested in a 2000 watt generator. So they sent me one of those. The deal is I gotta give one of these away. So today's video, I'm gonna be milling this log, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you instructions on how you can enter to win your own EB3A. This is a great little tool. This has a 12 volt, like a cigarette lighter style adapter on it, two USB ports, USB-A, the old dinosaur style USB ports, and a USB-C port, which is quite fast. Need my glasses, stand by. It's 100 watt, <laughs> that's what I thought. And there's a magnetic charging pad on the top of it, which is 15 watt. So I could just lay my iPhone on top of that, or if you had a tablet or something like that. It has a 600 watt inverter. It's pure sine wave, so you can run your um, computers, laptops, any sensitive electronics. And with an app on your phone, you can turn on what's called power lifting mode and turn into a 1200 watt. Um, inverter so you can run your coffee maker or a microwave or a, any kind of a heat hot plate or inductive cooker for a short period of time mind you it's a small battery it's a 260 watt hour battery so so but you'll be able to run a couple of cycles I, I ran a full pot full eight cup pot of coffee through it no problem at all still had like 60 percent of the battery left when it was done it's also got UPS mode what UPS stands for is uninterrupted power supply so I watched a video online, Hobotech, if you guys have watched any of this, he, he reviews all kinds of this stuff and he's forgotten more about this kind of stuff than I'll ever know, I'm sure. But anyway, he wanted to check the uninterrupted power supply speed. Blue Eddie says it's 20 milliseconds is what it takes for the relay to switch over. So he plugged his laptop into that without a battery, without a battery in the laptop, I mean, plugged the, the Blue Eddie into the wall. And then that means that it's running through the machine powering your your laptop you're doing his work and then unplug that from the wall and it ended up not losing his work so that to me is true uninterrupted power supply its main market in my opinion would be somebody with a CPAP machine that if the power were to go out while they were sleeping they'd still they wouldn't even know the power went out this machine would just pick up and take right over and give you quite a few hours and then the power comes back on the, the machine charges back up as if you've um, never knew the power went out. So anyway, stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll tell you a simple way that you can be entered to win one of these. Blue Eddie sends it out. I don't send it out. I will reach out to you and get your mailing address so that uh, 
they can ship one out. So I think there's other channels that are doing the same the same thing. So there's multiple ways that you can win one of these. It's a great it's a great tool. It's not a toy. It's not a gimmick. It's a real product. It's not something that's in um, some kind of prototype phase. It's something you can touch and hold and order and own today. And uh, it's good quality. I'm impressed with it. And if I wasn't, I'd have said it for sure. I promise. So anyway, let's open this log up. See how many two by sixes we can get out of it. Stand by.
definition of wind shape. When I pulled that, I, I pointed that out when I was milling. This big split in the side of that. And I tried to capture it all in one piece, but I can probably just pull that off if I was a little stronger than I am. But I'll still be able to make a two by four out of this. Uh, the two by six. Let's see how it was. This would have been all stuck together like this. But you can still recognize it. There's a little tiny bit right there. Blowing up, blow up on it. And also on this piece over here, there's a little tiny piece right there. These off. He needs eight feet. These are 100 inches, so he'll be able to get off. A lot of stress in hemlock. A lot of memory in hemlock, and there's a lot of this wind shape in hemlock. And I'm losing roughly sometimes as much as 30 percent, but I've measured it about 15 to 18 percent. I'm losing in board foot value just because of wind shape and ride log. So when you buy a hemlock logs, it's it's kind of a decision or a, maybe a conversation you need to have with your with your logger. They know as well there's going to be wind shake in it. The guy that delivers the wood, he tries to pick out by looking at the uh, growth rings, but in all honesty, he can't take the time to sort through that. If this was in a 6x6 or an 8x8, that would have just stayed contained and it would have made a great railway tie or a, a fence post or something like that. But where we need smaller lumber, that's when it rears its ugly head. So I'll put this aside, make a 2x4 out of it, and uh, now I'm going to give you the rules of that of that contest to win that battery pack okay so here's the scoop on winning that eb3a on this video you need to comment with the word blue eddy anything in there like i'd like a blue eddy blue eddy's cool don't like blue eddy whatever blue eddy's got to be in the word you've got to be subscribed to this channel and you've got to like the this, this video those are the only rules pretty simple and after this long weekend, the Victoria Day weekend, I'll randomly choose somebody from that uh, comment stack. So I don't usually get that many comments. So the chances are really good that you are going to win something like one in a hundred or one in 150 tops, that kind of thing. So it's irrelevant if you've commented on another, on, a, on another video. This is the video you need to comment on. So I'll go over it one more time to make sure it's clear because I've already got a two dozen emails probably from people that want to be entered in the contest but don't know how because I didn't give the rules yet. So you have to be subscribed, you have to like this video, and you have to comment in this video with the word Blue Eddie in any comment, shape, or form. And one more rule that I, uh, it's not, it's, it's just common sense. Your email address, how to get a hold of you, must be in your about page on your YouTube profile. So if you don't have a, um, email address on there I'm just going to pick somebody else so make sure that your your email address is on there I'm not going to publicly say who won um, there's no reason to but the person that uh, that wins can publicly say if they if they so choose and I will reach out to you from uh, my email address which is logfather at yahoo.com I'm trying not to uh, that's not going to enter any emails and you're never going to get another email from you again unless you win something again I guess at some point so this is a battery pack that Blue Eddy sponsors. They're giving it away, and they're just using my channel as a, as a vehicle to get rid of it. So it's a great machine. It's a wonderful little battery, and I can't believe I've lived this long without it. You can do so much with it. Um, just check out my last video, and I'll probably do use it in other videos as well so you can uh, um, see how versatile it actually is. My wife started to call me the generator junkie. I've been collecting generators. I, I don't know what there is about generators and the passion I have for them. I get them used sometimes for free and fix them up. Gas power generators. I've got a little Yamaha. It's a 2600, I think it is. Yeah, 2600 watt generator here that I've run this shop off of. I've got this little Blue Eddy behind me on the bench in my sawmill shed. I've got a big Yamaha. I think it's a 7200, which I can run my house off of. I've got a Honda EX. 650 that I fixed up a guy gave it to me I've got a Honda uh, EX 350 I think it is a little tiny two-stroke it's about the size of a lunch kettle and it'll charge the batteries back up in my camper or my dump trailer it's got a 350 watt inverter clean uh, clean sine wave inverter it's a very cool little tiny generator um, I've even got a 1000 watt two-stroke generator that you would have seen at Princess Auto or Harbor Freight they've been vlogging those for years so it's uh, 
it's ubiquitous and I have a few Amazon parts carburetors and pull cords and that kind of stuff that I keep here for them so that when I find one mind you all that ever is wrong with them is uh, rotten gas usually people don't use them enough so I'm religious about starting my generators and then when I'm done running them I turn the fuel off and let them uh, run out of fuel in the carburetor then the next time I start them turn the valve on give it a second or two to fill the bowl in the carburetor pull the cord or turn the key and the way they go and that's the way they stay running forever so anyway i got five pieces of two by six out of that uh, ugly log it's a, it was a straight log but a small log and i got to get uh i think 30 more to fill that order so i'm gonna go have my lunch post this video and then come back out and finish that order and then i'm going to pick up a couple of trailer loads of logs so that's going to be fun i'm going to go about 45 minutes or an hour from here to pick up more hemlock and pine i think but uh they're free logs, they're yard logs, so I worry about metal in them. But anyway, it uh, should be worth it. They've got about 30 logs, 8-foot logs, all various diameters from what looks like about 8 inches in the pictures to about uh, 20, 24 inches, something like that. So there'll be some good lumber in it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Good luck on the draw. And it'll probably be Tuesday, I would say, after the long weekend before I, uh, I post that video. So, And I'm working right now on a little video reviewing that 2,000-watt inverter. Um, oh, that's the other generator I have is that Blue Eddy 2000 watt generator. So, and I'll give you my honest opinions about that as well. All right, over note, everybody.